Good day, grade 10s. Welcome to the third part, preparation for your final exam, and we're looking at paper two. So sodium is, is a metal used in many salts. Define electron affinity. So electron affinity is basically, you guys need to go learn the definitions properly, but basically it is attraction um, of electrons to the nucleus. of an atom. In other words, it's how strongly it attracts atoms. Now it says, explain why sodium has a low electron affinity with reference to its electron configuration. So if you go look at the periodic table, um, sodium is in group 1, it's Na+, okay? And if you look at it, you will see that it's actually in group 1, like I said. So if we did it, it in the tin period 3, so it's group 1, period 3. So what is it got? It's got 1 is 2, 2 and then 2 is 2, 2 P6 and then 3 S1. So the reason it has a low electron affinity is because it's got one little electron in its outer energy shell. So it's be really like to get rid of that electron so that it can be like a noble gas because if it loses this electron, it becomes a sodium plus ion, but it then has a nice stable outer electron shell and it acts like a noble gas. Okay, it says elements with a high electron affinity form anions. Well, that's basically because if you have a high electron affinity, it means you attract electrons and electrons have got a negative charge. So obviously, if you're attracting electrons, you're going to become an anion. Ta da Okay, now, it says label the following substances as atoms, covalent molecular structures, covalent network structures, ionic compounds, and metallic compounds. So this is pure study, kids. Study. So let's go through it. First of all, let's find the atom, and that's obviously an atom here, yeah, neon, because it's a noble gas. Ion, ion is actually metallic, but it's not a compound. So it's also an atom, okay, because iron is an element. So these two are pure elements. So I would say that they are just atoms. Now, diamond is a covalent network structure because it is made up only of carbon. So it is not a molecule, it is made up. So this is a covalent network structure. Okay, so we've done that one. Your water is a covalent molecular structure because it's made up of molecules of water. So it's covalent molecular structure. And potassium hydroxide is basically your ionic compound. Your ionic compound. Okay, but that, guys, is basically learning. So you need to go through that and make sure you understand the differences between these different structures and what they are so that you can name them. Okay, moving on. The arrangement below is used in a glass to investigate the conductivity of a solution. The beaker is filled with 250 mils of distilled water. It is observed that the bulb does not glow. Okay, that's the bulb. So if we look here, what have we got? We've got a battery, we've got two electrodes, we've got some distilled water, and we've got a completed circuit with a bulb. And this is give a reason why the bulb does not glow. Well, they use distilled water. And in order for this to be an electrolyte, you need to have ions. And distilled water has no ions. So therefore, it is not not an electrolyte, not an electrolyte, okay? It needs to have ions in order for the electrons to, I mean, for the electricity to flow. So now it says a 15 gram sample of ammonium nitrate, so let's write that down, it's NH4NO3, is now dissolved in the distilled water. It says, it says observe that the bulb grow, glows brightly. And why is that? That's because ammonium nitrate actually forms ions. It forms ammonium 
four plus ions and NO3 minus ions. So therefore it is going to form nice beautiful ions so therefore it's going to allow for the electricity to be conducted and like I said before what's the general name? It is an electrolyte. An electrolyte. Right. Now it says write down the formula for the ions present in the solution. I've already done that. It's NH4 plus and NO3 minus. Finally it says calculate the concentration of the ammonium nitrate solution. Okay, that's really easy. Concentration is number of moles over volume. And we have that the volume is 250 milliliters, so that needs to be changed in 0.25 because this is a milliliter equals a cubic centimeter and we want decimeters cubed so we have to divide by a thousand. Now we need to get the number of moles. So the number of moles is mass over molar mass. So the mass is given as 15 grams. So now we need to find the molar mass of ammonium nitrate. So let's have a look at it. On our formula sheet, nitrogen is 14, hydrogen is 1, oxygen is 16. So NH4, NO3, nitrogen is going to be 14 plus 4 times 1 plus 14 plus 3 times 16. And we're going to pop this in our calculator and it becomes, or we actually don't even have to, 14 plus 4 is going to give us 18 plus 14 plus 3, 6 is 18, carry 1, that's 48. Now we're going to pop it in our calculator, so we go 18 plus 14 plus 48 and that equals 80. Therefore this is 80 over here. So the number of moles is 15 divided by 80, which is 0, 0,1875. So now we put that over here, 0, 0,1875. Therefore, and I'm going to write it above because I've run out of space, concentration is number of moles of a volume, which is a 0, 0.1875 divided by 0.25 which equals 0, 0,75 moles per decimeter cubed, moles per decimeter cubed. Um, there you go. So there we go, you have it all. Um, and that is the end of this lesson. Please guys, if you don't understand what's going on, go through the sections which these questions are based on and then come back and try these questions again. Have a great day.